Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be watching a expose on a pretty prominent uh, member in the uh, Minecraft Dinosaur community. Uh, it's kind of shocking that people like this get by, because... I mean, I'm not, I'm no, like, freaking like, role model, but, this, I, apparent, what I've heard, apparently this guy is a, a creep from my friends, I've heard this from my friends, um, I did comment on the video, but I haven't watched it yet, so, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, that's kind of weird. Yo, what the hell? This is just bestiality. This isn't even, like, funny or anything. This is just besti- Like, wait, what? <laughs> wait. Look at this, another Minecraft YouTuber doing typical shady Minecraft YouTuber things. Okay, but this is a serious topic, so I'm just gonna go straight into the facts. But first, I just want to introduce myself. I'm not a content creator, I've been in the Minecraft Dinosaur Island community for at least two years now, but I've never created any content. I really have no idea what I'm doing, even after doing some video tests earlier in the week. Um, well, I, uh, from what I've seen so far, this is kind of a, kind of a, creepy situation because what from my experience I can check my video analytics most most of my viewers that watch my Minecraft dinosaur videos are like 13 through like 18 I think is the analytic so these are kids and saying the shit to kids is fucking creepy dude why would you ever do that and exposing the bestiality that shit's just gross like what Week, I really couldn't get anything to stick. So please, please share this video. The creator I'm about to speak about appears to be a genuine threat to a lot of kids and vulnerable people in this community. Please share this video in far and wide. If you have followers, you're more than welcome to just re-upload this video. I frankly don't care about my own channel views or subscribers. I just want to get as many eyes on this creator as possible. That's honestly uh kind of real. I that's actually kind of he doesn't really care about the money or anything. He just wants to show that this creepy ass guy is in this community and i i really appreciate that so if you think you can achieve more views please go ahead and up re-upload this video so who is yaju senpai yaju senpai is a minecraft youtuber and dinosaur add-on content creator he may be a very talented person but he has also done some no he's not i hate his shit dude this shit is fucking ass if i ever review this add-on in the future just know i'm gonna be harping on it like it's the fucking worst thing in the world. It's gonna be bad. Some really crazy it and alarming things. Most people think that Yaju Senpai is a girl, but this is all just one big catfish. He's a guy in his 20s. Let me make one thing clear. I am not transphobic and in any way. And I have nothing against transgender people or guys interested in drag. But Yaju Senpai is neither of those things. He is a male, born a male, identifying as a male. And the reason for this cross-dressing and pretending to be a girl is just its not simple fun. It is, by his own admission, a tactic of drawing in young boys to follow him. Look right here. He admits that he is trying to... So he's pretending to be a female to get more male, young males. Um... Yeah, that's just kind of creepy, dude. You're pretending to be a girl to get young males in your... Young males. Let me uh, emphasize that. Young males. In, like, to, like, go to your stuff. You you shouldn't have to pretend to be a girl to get, like, young males. You should, like, you should be yourself and advertise your add-on that people enjoy, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure people, like, like this add-on. Because looking at the views on his channel, he gets more views and all my shit so clearly this guy has got a, a community behind him but instead you're catfishing young males to get more views like that is ridiculous to entice young people now this could be some genius strategy which is a bit weird but still innocent right nope 
Once these people, who Yaju himself identifies as young, join the server, they are faced with this. Lots and lots of disgusting sex talk. Dude. No way this fucking grown ass man is talking about having s sexual intercourse with fucking children, dude. No. Oh shit, there's a siren outside. Dude. No way. This grown ass man is talking about having sex with underage children. Okay, this is like an actual crime. This is disgusting. This guy should be like f arrested. This is ridiculous. Favorite pastimes. He also posts these kinds of. Re oh my god, and bestiality, dude. What is this guy doing? No way you think this shit is- It's not even funny, it's just fucking weird, what? Okay, oh wait, wait, hold on, I'm looking at- I mean, okay, I mean, I guess this is okay. I mean, it's not like showing sex to- Showing fucking animals having sex to children is weird. But I could see how he thought it was a funny joke since these are the same species. But it's still kind of weird. Really weird and creepy images of dinosaurs mating of or of this. This is what I was talking about. This dude is like posting pictures of bestiality. I mean, come on. This is so weird. Dude, there is no way, dude. This is so fucking weird. And I want to mention that's his fucking skin. This might be like one of his fantasies. Dude, this guy has a fucking fantasy about getting fucked by his one of his fucking... Animals in his bed on. This is disgusting. <laughs> this is actually gross. Of a girl getting <laughs> by a cat. Remember, Yaju knows that this server is full of little kids, in particular young males. I mean, that should be obvious, anyways, since this is a Minecraft. Okay. A dinosaurs community, after all. But just for the record, he can't deny anything. He absolutely knows this fact, as you can see it in his own messages. You can even see Yaji adjust his server rules template to allow this conversation with NS. This is so weird. Okay, he had these rules set in place, which are, of course, respectful rules. I, I don't want to fucking have children complaining about... I don't want to have a... Oh my god, I can't, I can't word this the way I wanted to. I don't want to expose fucking children to pornography and... Like, like, like it says, racism, like, racism, sexism, and, of course, uh, NSFW, uh, content. But this motherfucker deleted the rules just so he could fucking post this shit? This is so weird. There's no way. SFW in public channels. At this stage, we're looking at a situation similar to the recent Mr. Beast controversy, in which Mr. Beast's co-star, Ava Chris Tyson, was cancelled for knowingly joking about sex to minors, which is serious enough in itself, but this just gets worse. But first, some more information about Yaju Senpai. He used to be employed by Chinese Minecraft partner Nirvana Studio. He was kicked from the studio a few months ago, and the reason for this kicking was initially unclear. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this guy's just a dick. Like, apart from being fucking weird, this guy is just a dick. I mean, I think it's just as simple as that. Yeah, you had said it was because Nirvana Studio were restricting freedom of speech against the Chinese Com Communist Party, which resulted in fans flocking to his support after the firing, as well as other creators such as Springmorb, Mesozoic Biology, and Copycraft coming to his support. Uh, I just want to correct this guy. Springmorb makes Mesozoic Biology. Mesozoic Biology isn't its own person. Just want to bring that up. Yaju ended up joining the team of Copycraft. Let me make one more thing clear. I am not attacking or blaming any of these creators or fans. They were misled by Yaju and seemed to be good, decent people who tried to do the right thing. What's interesting is that Nirvana Studio also released the set of images at the time, claiming Yaju had been talking sexual, very. So people, so they sent, so they had evidence that he was weird before he got exposed as this, as the, you know, he was, 
He was already exposed as weird, but no one paid attention to it, which is honestly very sad. Like, not even I noticed that. Like, I, not even I saw anything about that. And it's honestly super saddening to know that. That that just, like, went under the radar, and now we have to deal with this shit. This is absolutely disgusting. Sexual to other Nirvana studio developers and workers, as well as fans who he knows are still underage. He sent this to a minor. The only problem was these images looked kind of fake. The text is like disjointed and irregular, so these got swept under the rug quite easily. It seemed Nirvana were just trying to frame Yadu for something he didn't do. Well, as it turns out, these images are entirely real, and this is really what Yadu has said to his fans. The weird looking text is simply a translation of Chinese to English. I am able to say this with strong certainty that these images are real, because upon checking, it turns out that Yadu has said some very similar things in his own server. I mean, look at this. The wording is practically identical. Even if Nirvana screenshots were fake, which is highly unlikely, it wouldn't matter anyway because Yaju has said and done all this other stuff anyways. Yaju appears to have even posted one of these, as he calls them, sexy pics in his server. But was Okay, so, about the sexy pink pic stuff. The, the least worst case scenario, like, the least worst case scenario, these sexy photos are just him with, like, his face and this like maybe in the sunlight or something which i mean it's fine like face reveal blah, 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 cool worst case scenario they're dick pics they're gonna be dick pics and if they're dick pics showing that to minors is fucking disgusting you have to be a mentally ill person to do this shit this is absolutely vile this is awful awful shit this is terrible later deleted I never got to see this image, so take this part with a grain of salt. Not that it matters anyways, because he's done enough messed up stuff. But this was only at another oh. layer to this. My god, okay. So, like I said, I haven't watched this video, so obviously my points are gonna be, you know, I'm gonna say something that's gonna couple later in the video. This guy probably did send dick pics. Someone probably did model and texture his... Unfortunately, someone probably modeled and textured his dick, obviously. And now he wants someone to animate it. What? I mean, what the fuck? This is... When will you animate my fuck? Oh my god, this is disgusting, dude. There is no way. No way. This atrocity of a creator. So what happens now? I need your help. Share this video far and wide. Share, re-upload anything, man. Just get all eyes on this subject. I also try making a Twitter thread. I expect and hope that the creators and fans who defended Yaju against Nirvana realize the truth behind it all now that I have made this video. I'm sure they will. As I said, this is not an attack on them, and I do believe they are good people. No. Send this video to them and make sure Yaju is excommunicated from his community, a community made primarily of kids, young males, as Yaju himself has identified. A vulnerable community. Yaju should not be allowed anywhere near this community. I hope this will all be the end of all of his activities. As talented as he is, he is a total creep and potentially even worse. I have added links in the video description to Yaju Senpai's server and all messages shown in this video. I'm sure this is just the tip of the iceberg and you can probably find more similar messages. But even if this is the whole iceberg, I think that is enough to show how disgusting this person really is. Please check the links yourself. We need, we need as many people as possible to confirm if this is real. I have a feeling Yaji may delete the messages if he finds out about this video. Check them, screenshot them, share them. Get all eyes on this freak. And now, I guess we just wait for Yaji to deny it all. Play it off as edgy jokes, or say he was simply here. Okay, so, obviously this end of the video is just kind of like, whatever. So, moral of the story, this guy's a creep. Un he's an untalented, weird creep. Pedophile, he's a fucking pedophile. This guy is so bad at- this guy is so bad at making add-ons, and somehow, some fucking way, he slipped past the cracks, and now he's saying weird shit like this. Okay, this guy is a, obviously a fucking pedophile. If anyone, anyone, please anyone, if you have photos of this guy, send in, send them. Like, just go to go to my Discord server, and, and just like, or DM me, just do anything. We need photos of this guy, and we need to get him arrested. This is actually vile behavior. That this guy is getting passed in our in this community, it's disgusting. So yeah, anyways, guys, that's just that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I just want to bring attention to the situation. Uh, um, hopefully you are not a kid and you don't get in trouble by your parents if you watch this video. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later.